there's a lot to talk about today. Firstly, the debut for the brand new away strip. Can he get it to 18 in the box or even Camillo? The cross comes in on the turn here. He's got Camillo to his right, but he goes inside instead. Finds AT, who leads it back to Misha, who can hit the three. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United game. We're away against Margate today. Seven, Kent, have you been to Margate before? Oh, many times. I was born in Kent. Yeah, very true. Chelsea I forgot about that. Yeah. So you board. have been to Margate before? I've been to Margate before, yes. This absolutely. also aged me a little bit, but my main memory of Margate, having not been here before, is Only Fools and Horses, Jolly Boys Outing. Yep, yep, You yep. know, great, great episode. If you haven't seen it, check it great out. Great episode. Although some of the series hasn't stood the test of time, we have to say. <laughs> um, back to football, though. We play Margate in the league today. Off a very good win for them in the week yeah. against Chatham, who we play on Monday night. So yes. interesting. Yes. Uh, they're just behind us in the league, but whoever wins today, if there is a winner, will go ahead of the other team. That's how close it is. It's a leapfrog game, isn't it? It's a leapfrog yeah. opportunity for Margate. Yeah, so we could extend our lead on them a little bit. Um, there's a lot to talk about today. Firstly, the debut for the brand new away strip. West Ham inspired, we can say that. Champions of Europe have inspired this kit. It's a beautiful number. Bit of blue, bit of white, bit of claret, bit of me. It's a little bit West Ham. It's also a little bit argentina -y as well. You've got Lionel Messi in there. You've got Paqueta Champions in there. Of the world. South American vibes. I love it. Paqueta's it's one of, it's probably... Believer. One of my favourite away kits we've ever, ever had. The reception online when we yeah. announced it has been incredible as well. So shout out to those of you guys who got involved in that and those of you who've already got yourself uh, one of the new kits. Yeah. Links down below if you haven't already. If you haven't, go over to Pro Direct, get them ordered, available in all sizes, available in all countries. Support the club. Right, other things to talk about today. So our international yeah. boys are back. They're back. Welcome uh, back, Ted boys. Ted Kerr's returned from England duty to play for the tag. Sakistan's back as well. Those being rested today. Yep. We have got a game on Monday night, as we mentioned. I've got another name for you. Hit me. Does the name Ben Greenhall mean anything to you? Oh, yeah, it does. TV show, wasn't it? But over 10 years ago, he won a TV show. I watched it at the time. Uh, it was... Uh, Football's next star, Mourinho. I think it was called. Mourinho was in it. It was like the X Factor, the apprentice for football. He won it. He got a contract at Inter Milan. He was part of their team the year they won the Champions League. That is mad. And now he's playing against the tags today. Wow. Number 11 for Margate. Watch out for him. And he's the assistant gaffer. He's assistant manager as well. Yeah, there you go. Uh, what are you expecting from today, Seb? It's going to be tough, mate. Listen, the, the weather here coming down is a long drive for me. Nearly three hours for me to get here today. Wow. The wind and the rain was coming and stopping right on the coast, exposed. The wind is blowing. The rain is literally battering down. I hope it clears up, but this one's going to... The coin toss is going to be big today. Yeah, who that wins wind, it? Yeah, it's going to be big. The wind will play a part for sure. Let's take a look at the team Devs is sending out to battle. In goal today is the returning Ted Kurd. At fullback, we have Nathan Smith and Matty Waldridge keeping their respective spots. Tom Anderson and Harry Haysom in the centre of defence. Max Corner in centre mid today with PK, who drops a little bit deeper, reconnecting that partnership that saw us win the league last season. Ahead of them, Misha Jamali keeps his place after a goal, an assist and a UFL player of the match performance in the Cup against Concord on Monday night. Camilo Restrepo is out wide with Nigel Harris on the other wing and Alex Teniola also keeping his place after two goals in two games up front. That means on the bench we have Alfie Q, Pedro Carvalho, Sam Cornish, Greg Halford and Wyan Reid. What a bench that is up the tags. Another heavy weekend of football for us. Um, and today's side's very much picked on what we've seen of, of the opposition and what I think best suits us for, for today. What we're good at is when we play at a high tempo, in and out of possession. Out of possession dictates, we say it every week, what we do out of possession, how quickly we press, how high we press, uh, and how hard we work, dictates how good we're able to then be on the ball. Be mindful of the conditions, the changing conditions in terms of the rain and the winds, it's, it's a bit swirly, we've got to be very mindful of those things. So it's just about energy, enthusiasm, tempo, be very mindful of the shape and can we get the ball in front of their, you know, in, in, in their wing backs? We've got to be patient with our play. Let's go, come on. And hashtag about to get us underway. Oh, he does it. Look at all these it. players running around. PK drops it off to Tom Anderson, sends it forward. Hashtag, of course, in the brand new West Ham inspired away shirt. Throwing for Nathan Smith down the line. Goes to a Margate player. Good switch over and great first oh, touch no. here from the left back. Does he shoot from here? He does. It's deflected for a corner. Don't mind it. On a zippy surface, Ben. Wind down. That could have gone absolutely anywhere. Only needs to get a flick off somebody and ends up in the back of the net. But oh, the wind now is so yeah. strong. So this is one of them opposite ones now where this is going to come out. This yeah. could come way. It's high. You always want to just get over these and fizz these low, a bit lower. Camilo. He's it's not a bad one. Wind. Cornhill. Oh. Just reaching at it. Shame. No one was attacking that. Nathan Smith. Throw. It's not going to go very far today, but AT does well to wrestle and he gets the ball over Go to on, Nigel. our man Nigel on the left side. 
Can he get it to 18 in the box or even Camillo? The cross Here comes in. Oh. Wow. Side next corner again. Chatham high, flying high in the league. We're playing them on Monday night ourselves. Margate, one of the few teams to beat them this season. Is he onside? Ted's got to deal with this. In the wind. Oh, wow. It's gone over him. Oh, my oh gosh. My golly gosh. All I can say is thank God it wasn't on target. And that is an example of the wind today. If you can't Such tell on camera. Such a danger. It is really playing havoc out there. Not, hang on. Tomo, can we clear it? Second ball. Well done, Tomo. He's having one of those games today. Go on, PK. PK. Now drive. On the turn here. He's got Camillo to his right, but he goes inside instead. Finds AT. Who leads it back to Misha. Who can hit them from here? Lovely. It's Love really that. well worked move and a good save there from Harry Seedon. Still alive here with Nigel Harris with the step over. Oh, done him. Can he cross in in low? He goes in. Yes! yes! It's two in two for Misha Javaili. And it's the first assist for the club for Nigel Harris. Well done. That all came from the brilliant build up play. They laid it back to Misha. You get a really good contact on it. And you know what? The keeper did ever so well to push it all the way out to the left. Nigel's bit of footwork comes in and it's a lovely finish. What really well composed of a, of a zipping surface to convert that into the onto the target. It's very, very good. It's a cross on Nigel's weak foot and a finish on Misha's weak yeah, foot. Yeah, it's lovely know. stuff. How well does he make them runs coming across? Free kick for the tags. PK standing over this one. He's, he's going to... Oh, oh, okay. He's oh I to like Matty. it. Jinky. Matty on the edge. Gives it to Misha, who's in a fine vein of form right now. And the left foot cross is a good area. AT! Oh. He's headed it straight to the keeper, Sebi. He's done the hard thing, though. I mean, he's doing ever so well. Their back line is a fairly... Yeah, there's some big boys in there. AT's got there first. He's got that extra yard of pace after scoring. He just couldn't really direct it into the corner. But keeper's in the right place at the right time. Wet ball. Done well to hold it. I didn't see, didn't see AT. It's a f***ing chance. I'm man. watching Max fight and thinking he can never head this. And AT got across him brilliantly. PK on the turn. Can you get it to Camilla to the right so of you? Park it, play park it, it, play it. it. There's the ball. Here we go. Oh, get there, get He'll there, get, get there. there. Right, beat your man, Camilla. You oh, know you can. Get ready for some violence. Look at this. The touches. See ya. Oh, oh, See ya. Put it low. Oh. Just got to work on that end product with the silky skills on show for sure. Maybe aiming for Cornhill here. Or AT. There's a header one. Cleared by the five, Tyrone Sterling. Once again, cleared here by... Meet it, meet it, Ando. Godfrey yeah, Pope. Ando's judged that ever so well in the wind. Oh, PK might he's going to get himself a yellow yeah, here. I mean, he's, he's, he's what he attracts. So he attracts. He attracts the season. Them, I know. It's, it's a good decision as well from Aaron. Oh, it's just done it. But the thing about PK is he officially has the worst discipline in hashtag history. Uh, easily. Only player to be sent off twice for hashtag ever. Yeah. And he's probably got about 20 odd yellow cards. Only, well. have any ever, no one's ever had more than one red card. No, he's only one. Wow. Tom Williams only got one. Yep. Ball comes in here. Max Cornell heads okay. it away. That's it. Keep him out of the box. Keep him out of the box. Striker's going to put this in a good area. Ted oh, watches Ted. it all When the you way. see Ted do that, you just ex you just expect the ball just to land in there, don't you? Yes, Max Brilliant. Cornell. He's had a good half. Here we go. Now Drive. PK. Now you go carry it for us. Carry it to the corner. I mean, it's literally just him and AT up, but now Nigel's helping out. Great touch there. Switch. Switch. Oh, the ball was oh, on for Camillo. On. He's played it now. He's going to make it. Onside. He's oh. onside. Is there a shot to be had there? Still Camilla on the ball with a fast feet. Gets the shot off. Corner. Side net in corner. Chance here. Sterling to play it forward. A little bit late for Max, but Gordon rides the challenge. An advantage is being played. Still Gordon here. Looks in behind. It's a great pass to the right back who loves to get forward. Ball in. Oh, Ted okay. Kerr well collects done. it. I think you just use it to shoot around the box because it just adds five mile an hour to your ball. Yeah. Just hit it harder. Ted can honestly have a few pot shots second half. I know I say that half jokingly. I'm not actually completely joking. Great pick out for Matty to find Hang AT. On. AT goes to Mish. Mish's pass is uh, scuffed. Oh, that's, that's definitely a yellow. That's a yellow card. That's a yellow card. I think he's down back pocket. It's definitely a yellow card. Oh, he's yellow. He's yellow, isn't it? Go on, AT. Get it under. He's got he's players around well him. There. He gets shot off. And I tell you what, it looked well hit. Matty Waldridge can hit them well as well. A lot of wells Worth out a there. Go. Worth a go. Refs had a look spinning. Half time, and it will be hashtag the happy of the two teams. 1 0 up in torrential conditions here, but those conditions will go the other way in the second half. Let's see what Dev says and let's see what happens in the next 45. Kind of what's gone on that half becomes irrelevant now because of the conditions to some extent. But you've, you've been really, been really good, been really good and, and carried a threat. But what you've seen, you've seen how they've struggled to deal with the wind. It's not easy with the wind behind your back when it's that strong. The only thing that's better about it is you, you, you can take pressure off yourself by you know things that will, will get out. Um, frustrating because we've picked up a couple of silly bookings. Set pieces, um, corners, they've got to be feeds. 
got to use the conditions. And there's shots to be had. There's shots to be had when if they drop off and things are around the box, get shots away because you haven't got to be a natural clean striker of the ball for that ball to travel and, 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 and pose problems. I can't tell you how proud I am of that, that half a football. Um, I think as set up, midfield five, nothing's gone between you. You've stopped every ball in at the front man, defenders defended, you've worked your off, like everything we asked, but it ain't done. Go and work hard again and we'll win this game. Come on. And we're underway here for the second half. Margate are going to come at us, no doubt about it. But those long balls will be problematic for them. OK. See, those little indecisions that we had when we had our wind into us in the first half, they've got to deal with that now. And they've got to know that another mistake like that. Go on. Chances us to finish the game. Nigel, shifts on his left foot. Oh, that's a good stop. Harry Seedon equal to it. It was at him, to be fair. But Nigel's done well to fashion the chance. I mean, he's done ever so well. I think he's been a little bit hard on himself there because it's very, very difficult to get that half yard. He had two men on him and he's done enough and got really strong contact on it, on target. I've, I'm happy with that. Make sure Jamali to take this corner. Curling in. Oh, it's awfully! 80 on the overhead kick. Ala wow. Gray's away last season trying I mean, to recreate it. It was an overhead kick that was over his waist. He was definitely falling to ground as he got on that. He's done well to get there. He's done really one. well. <laughs> I thought it was one of them that was looping. Drop in, Nigel. Drop in, Nigel. Lewis Knight. Oh, it's, it's a, really... a lot on that. See, so that's the one that could hold, hold up with the wind, though, Spin. It's going to. Hatfall's done well oh, to get wow. there. But the cross is going to come in. Back post. Headed. Oh, that's a... I mean, in fairness, he was always backing away from the ball. So to get too much power on it was always difficult. He's done well to get something on it. But the right midfielder there, or the right back, the right wing back... Yeah, Harry, Harry Hatfall. Just didn't give it up, did he? So much time here for this man to advance up the pitch and pick out a pass to Gordon. He's on the turn here. Gordon looking for the ball through the middle. Nathan Smith tries to intercept it. Doesn't do it. It comes back to Gordon. Still Gordon. He's everywhere. Covered every blade of artificial grass. Offside. The flag is up. The oh, flag is wow. up. The ball's in the back of the net, but it won't count. Offside flag against the strike, and there doesn't appear to be many complaints from Margate. The cross and the finish were very, very nice. I wasn't appealing for offside, to be honest. I thought that was just a goal, but there was a pretty emphatic decision, and like you say, no real complaints. Great so. work from the linesman there. Good running really from nice PK. Ball, that was. Tracking back well. Oh, what's happened oh, here? He's gone down. Did he get a little, elbow in the face, maybe? Something in the face. The ref's not going to stop Head injury, head injury. Is it a head injury in that way, though? Ted. How do you oh, define Ted's it? Ted's come. He's dropped it. Foul. Lino's put his flag up for something. Is it offside, offside again? Yeah, offside. Nathan. Oh, it's nice from Harris. What can you do now? Oh, you've got to take a lot off that. Oh! One. It's not bad, not Misha. Not bad, does. no. He's done well on a zippy ball like that. Now, this is the, the lad who played for Inter Milan, Ben Greenhall, on a left foot. He's going to shoot, I think, Seb. I think he might. He might do now. I hope Ted's aware, ready for this. Just a two-man wall as well. And Nigel Harris, not the yeah, tallest I think you're right. I think you might have one. There's the area. Back post. Well Ted Kerr claims it. I thought we might see him lay down on that, but he's trying to play the break, which I like, and he's going to go for Nigel Harris. That's not bad at it's all. He's got there. Way. Look at this ball. Oh, can he get there? He's, he's going to get there. He's going to get so there. Far. He stopped he's it. done well, he's yeah. done very well, he's done very well. Indeed. That is exactly what we said, that's the perfect pass and it just can't keep it in. Right, corner coming in here now. Yeah, the left winger. by the man, Ben Greenhall, headed away by Harry Haysom. Hatful puts it back in the mixer. Dangerous area. Oh, Nathan well Smith held, actually headed that back, I think. But there What's was a flag for here? It's calling for offside. Neto done anything for Wolves? They're still losing? Uh, but I mean, think he's not going to get a clean sheet now, though, is he? Who? Not Forest Keeper. No, he's not. Oh, Turner's on for eight points. Is he? Brilliant. Yeah, he's got a clean sheet. I thought you said they scored Luton. Maybe not Forest scored. Perfect. Oh, we need Neto to get Neto to get something and everyone's got points. Sammy Cornish with the ball. Gets it to Harris, who gets it to Smith. Smith puts it in low. Could it fall for PK? Or Harris again. PK cuts it back to Cornish off the bench. Oh! It could have been goal bound. What a great start that would have been. It's not over yet. Mish gets it. Can he cross it? He goes to Waldridge. Waldridge hits it. Oh, they are Fantastic defending incredibly blocking. well, to be fair to them. The game has just gone up a notch. We've not done a lot in the last 10 or 15 minutes, but we seem to be coming alive a little bit with the newly introduced players. Mish gets it off his man, crosses it in. Looking for Alfie. Here he goes. Fall for Cornell. Oh! oh. Another the good game. The keeper's day. having a great game, to be fair oh, to him. I'm sick of saying that every week. But not just, like, literally, generally the saves, but doing it with the wind and rain in his face. It yeah. makes it extra hard. Lovely move from the tags. Max Corny on the left foot, nearly getting his first of the season. What a save that is. 
set wasn't great for Sammy, was it? Once he had to have a touch, it made it difficult. Zachary's starting after all that. Mm. But that's the sort of go on, go on, PK. He's picked it up here. That's Ready what I'm saying. That's why we've got to press the goal kick. Saris had to keep it low, and he does. Oh. Keeper nearly spills it. This is why we don't let them play it short. We press these goal kicks, make them go long, and we head it straight back at them. Another flick from Gordon. He hook is it, hook it, just hook it. Nothing silly, just hook it. Well done, love Still that. Still gets a touch on it, Gordon. Oh. Come on, win this. It's a good flick. Is he onside? Gordon is onside. Gets it from Greenhall, gets it back off Gordon. Greenhall on the left foot now. Puts it in a good area. Ted Kerr does enough. Oh, he's there. Comes straight back <laughs> this out. This game has come alive all of a sudden, hasn't it? Yeah, the crowd are getting End-to-end end stuff. I think we might need the second goal, Seb. I think we may well do. Nathan Smith I throwing. think Nathan may get himself booked for right this game. He's, he might be getting a suspension if he gets another yellow, I think. Max Cornell gets in on it. Cornish <coughs> picks it up. The cornfield linking up. Nigel on the left here. Onside. Look Cornish at this. is an option. Still Aris. Can he left foot it? Oh, it's a good area. PK. PK for his oh. first of the oh. season. Oh, my God. This He's is crazy. Cornhill puts it in low. This is wild. Like absolute pinball in there. Let's stop the early attack, please. Oh, oh, got oh the look at it. He's just literally into it. Harry Hasem gets his foot where it needs to be. Ted could have picked that up if he wanted to. It wouldn't have been a pass back. Oh, Alfie almost. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got out of the box. Yes. He's got out of the box, surely, there. Pepper them. We've got a finish. Nathan Smith. Come on, Nathan. You're going to get bought. So obvious. He's booking him. You're right. You called it. You called it. Yellow card for time wasting. Nathan yeah, Smith. Just, the ref just looked that very particularly angry a minute ago. Now. That may be him suspended for next week. <laughs> Who have we got next week? I'm not sure. Nathan, Harris, he's had a good game, Nigel, I think. Nathan could put this in, good area. Alfie Q, it's going to come to Sam. Ah. Mish, pick it up, Matty Waldridge on the overlap. Back to Sam Cornish, nicely done. Cornish, if you can turn out and go to the left, it'll be open for you, but it's good stuff down the right here. PK to Mish for his second, maybe, good turn. Maybe a foul in there, but held up a little bit. Max Cornhill, snuffing out the danger. Cornish to Waldridge. Matty comes away with the ball, just use it. Cornhill, it's nice football. Mish to Waldridge, it's beautiful stuff. So nice. Nigel Harris, run Finish the game, boys, finish him off. Nigel, great step overs. Here's the shot! Oh, oh my God. God! We had a great view of that, didn't we? I love it when you get one of those right behind the line. It just didn't have any whip on it, did it? It was going at such a good pace. Great footwork, great strike, and the rain is coming down thicker and faster than it has for the entire afternoon so far. Can the tags hold on to this slender lead? Ben Greenhill's going to take this, put it in the mixer. Headed down, I think, by Tomo. Sent away by Nigel Harris, but straight back to Margate. Ben Greenhall again looks to deliver these on the left foot. Let that go. Oh, it'll be oh, risky. No. A shot. Ted Kerr with the save. Oh, oh my wow. God. Who blocked wow. that? I think it was uh, Nathan Smith, you know. Was it Nathan Smith? Yeah. Right, this is, look at the franticness of their play now. It is just wild. You've got to be so dialed in. Go on, nick it, nick it, nick no, it. No, there's no, don't you dare give that ref. Oh, yeah. Good lad. Stay on side, Alfie. Alfie. get on side, man. Go on, Sammy. Oh, yes, well Sammy. Done, Sam. Nigel, run at him. Run at him. You can just corners, chill actually. out. Yeah, I don't mind. Just He's not going corners. He's Nathan's going coming. In towards the box, Nigel Harris. Penalty. Get, get a corner, maybe. No, it stays on. Nathan Smith gives it to Cornish. Lots of space for Sammy. Sammy, Sammy. Shot off, Bang maybe. It. Corner, corner. Yes, well in. Go on, Wyan. Don't let him out. Don't let him out, boys. Well in. Yes, PK. Time, composure. Alfie. Composure. Yeah, Win the game. Win the game now. Get Win the game. Nigel. To open his hashtag account. Oh, a superb save man. again from Seedon. Well, that'll be don't a yellow. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. It's a great it. yellow. If you're going to get a yellow, that's exactly how you do it. You stop the counter. Where he was. PK, get in. Alfie, come on. He's, gonna, he's about to blow then. The ref yeah, had a go. Let's have the whistle he's then, He's literally man. about to blow. They're all going forward. They're all absolutely getting in the box for the Margate boys. Tomo's clearance might make it a PK here. What a ball that is. Right, just hold the ball. PK. We'll have the foul, ref. Not going to give it. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's going out to the left God, here. Get out. Get out of that line. Left back's going to keep it on. Great Ryan challenge. Reed, superb. Great corner. challenge. The corner spin. No. Oh, Ryan Reed is adamant it should be a goal kick. Our boys are really strong in there. He's given the ball. corner. He's not going to change his mind. Kick. He's had his arm in the air too long. I hate this. Here comes the ball. It's going to have a lot of legs on it. Oh, what wow. Max Cornhill. What a header that will that do, is. ref. Surely. Let's have the whistle, ref. Works back into the box. Oh, God, they're all there at the back post. Oh, my God. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Got to be last kick of the game as well. I mean, a hell of a finish. 
The ref's going to blow the whistle, I think, as well, Seb. What a strike. That is horrific. I'm not sure it's deserved either. I think we deserve the win, Seb. I think we did enough to get the win there, Spin. I mean, a few question marks raised. It's one of them. It happens in football so much. And it's one of the most glorious things if you're on the right end of it. Look at them, all the celebrations. But if you're on the wrong end of it, it absolutely stings. I was warned by the committee room there, striker. He won't do a lot, but when he gets the chance, he takes it. And he's absolutely volleyed that one in. Steve Corley, the number nine. What a strike that is. In those conditions as well, Seb, with the wind yeah, holding just... it up. Don't finish chances. That's what happens. I think there's been too much added on time, to be honest. I don't know where it's come from. There's not been any real... There is. Yeah, Final no whistle. Rubbish. The opposite of last Saturday. It's us losing the points rather than picking them up in a draw. Seb, hard to take that one. But have you got a UFL player of the match? Uh, I'm going to give the UFL man of the match or the player of the match today to uh, Nathan Smith in the left-back position. I thought it was just really, really big performance for him. It was the decision I made before their goal. Losing the clean sheet doesn't really change it for me. Obviously, Mish got the goal. I think he had a good game as well, but I'm going to go to Nathan Smith at left-back. Yeah, two league games in a row for Nathan Smith, really yeah. uh, making that position his own. But here's the league table, guys. You can see just one point for the tags today. We played Chatham on Monday night, who Margate beat earlier this week. So hopefully that's a good sign. We can give them a game. They're high-flying in the league right at the top, as you can see, Chatham. So it won't be an easy one at home on the Monday night. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check out the post-match reaction and more on the Extra Channel. Link is in the description. Until next time, up the tags.